Hello geometry students and welcome to your preview for 5.02 introduction to conic sections. So of course first we need to define what is a conic section. It can also just be called a conic. A conic section is a two-dimensional graph that can be formed by the intersection of a plane with a double napped cone. So what is a double napped cone? So over here in this diagram, it shows how a double neck napped cone is formed. First, you begin with a vertical axis and a generating line that is tilted at some angle other than the undefined slope. Um, and when that generating line remains connected at this axis and it rotates around the axis so that the top portion of the line goes around the top, and then the bottom portion of the line makes a circle around the bottom, you end up with a double napped cone. We call these individually naps. Where they meet is a vertex. So you can essentially just think of it as two um, ice cream cones that have been put tip to tip. Now the only difference between this scenario and actual ice cream cones is that these technically go on forever. Now we draw them with their circular base just to give us the concept, but they can go on forever just like a line goes on forever um, and a plane goes on forever. Uh, okay, so then from that we have a few different shapes that can be formed if we were to essentially slice the cone with a plane. So you think about um, if you've got the cone and you want to cut the cone at any given location, that is when we are going to create our conic sections. So here are two of them over here on the right side. And these different conic sections are going to have different names. So this first one on the top, that is when your a uh, plane intersects one of the naps of the cone and intersects, you know, sort of the base of the cone, if you will. And this is what we call a parabola. So a parabola is sort of a U shape. It can be opening upward or downwards, okay, depending on which of the cones we're talking about, the top or the bottom. Um, and so that is a parabola. The bottom figure Okay, this one intersects both of the naps. The plane intersects the top and the bottom at the same time. So you end up with two figures there. And this one is a hyperbola. Hyperbola. So you have a, a, a U that is there together, not two separate ones. Okay, these uh, two up there are two separate. They can occur individually, but for the hyperbola, they both occur. Then uh, the other two that you have that are a little bit easier to see is uh, the first one is a circle. It is going to be a circle if your plane right here, if your plane is parallel to the base essentially of the cone, or in other words, is perpendicular to the axis, right? The axis goes through the center. So if the axis and the plane make a 90 degree angle, then you will have a circle. If you were to cut, if you were to take your ice cream cone and just cut it, then you would have a circle if you were cutting parallel to the top of your cone. Then the last one is an ellipse. So this is when you're not parallel to the base of the cone, you're not perpendicular to the axis, and you're not going through any of the bases. So you're intersecting all the edges of the cone. So it's like taking your ice cream cone and cutting it at an angle, then you would have um, an angled ellipse on the bottom of your ice cream cone. Okay, and then there are just a few more to keep in mind, these are called degenerate conic sections. These are formed when a plane intersects the vertex of the double napped cone. So if we go back, we see none of those planes intersected the vertex. The vertex occurs where the two cones meet. 
so none of our planes intersected that vertex. If it does, then that is going to be called a degenerate conic section. This first one is going to be called a degenerate parabola. Okay, and that means that it um, is basically on the edges of the cone. It follows the uh, line that was used to rotate and make the cones. The bottom one is the degenerate hyperbola. And that's when the plane goes through the vertex and is not parallel to the generating line. And then the last one is called a degenerate ellipse. And that's when it just strictly goes through the vertex. That's the only place.